Hello Alex, it's Wednesday. I'm so sorry about your plight with Tolstoy and War and Peace. I'm going to tell you a little secret about it. You see, the reason why this is considered such drudgery for you isn't really your fault or Tolstoy's fault. It's the fault of all of those stupid people who think that War and Peace is something that is suitable for you to read in two months when you are 16 or 17 years old. And then we're all just gonna grow up and think of this as the worst thing ever. It really isn't. Although, to be honest, Tolstoy was kind of terrible with words. He never knew how to structure his sentences probably, so sometimes it can be a bit confusing. So many cool things have been happening recently, I'm just freaking out. First of all, our school is currently having this sort of open library thing. There are basically just open shelves in the corridor where you can just leave books and take and borrow books. It's so cool because it's basically this open, honor-based way of sharing literature. Our actual library is pretty old. It's really tiny. It's really cram It's really crumpy. It doesn't accept donations. Our librarian is very old and slow. Nobody really likes being there and there are barely any modern books there. So I am really psyched. And I'm currently donating like half of my book bookshelf basically. This whole lot of books I only managed to bring only this tiny tote bag. I currently have this huge IKEA bag in the corner waiting to be to, to be taken to school tomorrow and I'm I'm so psyched about it. This is this is so cool. You probably remember the Olympics, right? Not the London Olympics, the one we were to in this um sort of in conspicuous city in Siberia called Irkutsk where we met. You remember I was meant to get uh, 30,000 rubles for the silver medal in English that I got. Well, and I couldn't get those 30,000 rubles because I am not a citizen. Well, look at what I got. This is a gift certificate that was given to me by my school to Biblio Globus for 6,000 rubles. That is so many books. Ah! I have until November to actually use it and I'm going to, I'm so going to use, I'm going to use it so hard. So as I promised, today I was going to talk about Bunin and specifically his uh, story, which is called The Gentleman from San Francisco. Pretty much almost all of this story is filler. It tells you about this gentleman from Alaska no, I'm kidding, he's from San Francisco. After working many years, he decided that he's old enough to use all of that hard-earned American money to go on a world trip. A huge part of this story is taking place in the cross-Atlantic cruise ship called the Atlantis. Symbolism, it'll be important later. Bunin talks a lot about how beautiful the ship is, how beautiful the gentleman's wife is, and how beautiful his daughter is. We understand how rich and beautiful this man's life is. And the ship boards in Naples when eventually one day in a hotel room the gentleman was reading a newspaper and he died. He had a stroke and he died. And so what happens when he gets a stroke? Do they place him to die in his room in the hotel which he paid for. They put him in an old, disgusting little room. His wife asked for the hotel manager to place him somewhere better. But the manager says that a death in the hotel will ruin his reputation. So he does not want to be public about this whole thing. He is shipped back to America on the same ship. The Atlantis. Everyone is dancing happily in the ball and they are even unaware of the fact that there is a dead body under them. So while they dance and while they enjoy fake romances and, and fake luxuries and other fake sugar-coated fake things, they forget everyone regardless of their income and their richness. Everyone is equal in the eyes of God. And death is what makes 
us all equal. We're all born, we all die, and these are two inevitabilities in our lives that happen. Storytelling is the oldest form of art. And reading, reading makes people think, it makes people see other perspectives, it makes people work their eyes and their brains. And this is why I am so happy about this bookshelf that is in our corridor, because somebody is going to walk past it and see a title that they might find interested and open it and scan through it and maybe they'll want to read it and if somebody would want to read a good book then they might find books interesting and maybe people will stop looking at literature the same way you look at Tolstoy. Well, what I'm trying to say Literature is what makes us different from this. Alex, I will see you on Monday.